feel like a little girl again playing, you know, bride when I was small with my mommy's bride dress and the bridesmaid dresses and all the beautiful things that went along with it. And, you know, wedding veils and headpieces are a beautiful and traditional part of any bride's ensemble for her wedding day. But how do you know which one to, cho to choose? So accessory designer Amanda Judd is here with us and our wedding consultant Kristen Banta. And uh, they're here to help Gabby choose just the right veil to complement her beautiful dress. So welcome, everybody. Thank you. Uh, uh, you know, the wedding is just... Uh, what a week and five days away you yeah. say right okay so we want to have a little <laughs> recap of what we've done so far to get ready for your big day okay let's do it we first had a chance to meet Gabby and Charlie then came time to decide what food to serve our guests Michael Gaffney stopped by to help Gabby and Charlie find the perfect flowers for the wedding David's bridal helped the moms choose their dresses and no wedding would be complete without the cake Jesse Jane is crafting just the right look for the decor for our backyard wedding. Original Scent helped Gabby and Charlie make custom perfumes for everyone. And our bride and groom will be whisked off to Hawaii for the honeymoon of their dreams. Wow, we've done a lot. Wow, this is amazing. So Amanda, what headpieces have you brought uh, with you today? We've brought a huge variety of headpieces, lots of different styles since every bride is different. So we have some really great different pieces to try on. So Gabby, which style of headpiece did you choose? I like this one. You want to it's take it? Well, that's yeah, beautiful. So pretty. Now the headpiece is different than the veil, right? So yes. they're two different components. Some, some women opt to just have the veil. Right, some women wear the veil for the ceremony and then change to a headpiece at the reception or some wear a veil and a headpiece at the ceremony and then take the veil off at the reception. And Gabby, would you, can we put that on Gabby Absolutely. so we can see exactly what it looks like? This is a great choice. Like? This is our Anna headpiece. It's definitely has a lot of bling. So if she chose, she could take the veil off and then wear that for the reception. That's yes. You want to take a look at yourself, Gabby? And the and this piece is great because you can pin it into the hair so it's really comfortable or so you know you can tie it in the so back with pretty. the ribbon. It's so pretty. It's a great oh, way to adapt amazing. the look. The yeah, edge. it is. That, that's right. Now, uh, what is a blusher? Is that that blusher? Blusher? Blusher is the word? Okay. Blushing. Blushing bride. Is blusher is the second word. Um, what is a blusher? A blusher is sort of a more traditional, it's part of the veil that comes over your face when you walk down the aisle. Um, it's it's not something that we see a lot of brides doing anymore. I think you we know, haven't seen it. In yeah, quite it's some time. it's definitely not as popular, but some brides who really want that traditional feel tend to go for it. Uh, now you tried one on at rehearsal. We put the Basically. blusher on you. You like you couldn't wait to get out of it. Why, I didn't why, like it. why didn't you like it? I felt like I was like trying to keep mosquitoes away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped in. I didn't like it. No. Yeah. So how do you best uh, suit the all of this when they pick out to the bride's personality? How, uh, I'm going to ask you, Kristen. How do you do that? Well, you know, I I think that you know bringing in a little bit of your signature style especially in a way that this is done so custom with the detail that you put into this this particular line it's really about finding your signature thing and and how you want to you know showcase a little bit of your own bling <laughs> now I, i'm wearing one of these uh, beautiful little bracelets i thought this was so way. pretty and it's very vintage looking and i understand we have a whole uh, that you can take these and you can also give them for your bridesmaids Absolutely. as well as gifts. Yeah, we have a lot of brides do sort of a larger bracelet like this one for themselves and then gift a smaller, thinner bracelet to their bridesmaids, um, maybe That's with so a different pretty. colored ribbon or something that ties in the wedding colors. You can do a lot of really fun things. Would that. you consider doing something like this, Gabby? Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, <laughs> lots girls of girls would love sparkles. it. All right, so uh, we understand too. Well, first of all, I want to show my, my little headpiece right here. Uh -huh. Isn't it pretty? A little, little this Gorgeous. reminds me of the Duchess of Windsor, her yes, little it's feather. Very Gatsby. Yes, and you told me someone special wore it on the red carpet the other night. Yes, they did. Um, can I? I don't know. Oh, if, can oh, say oh, oh if you feel uncomfortable saying oh, no, it, you don't. Jessica Simpson oh, wore it recently, oh, sure. so that's great. Oh, okay, so my yeah. hair touched her hair. Yeah. Or whatever. Okay, this <laughs> is good. <amazing>. So, <laughs> mine was actually a different piece, but oh, I'm stuck. The same stuff. Oh, okay. Well, Amanda, <laughs> okay. But it I looks great on you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I understand that you have something really, really special for Gabby. So, do you want to tell her? Yes, Gabby, we're going to go ahead and gift you this beautiful veil and Aww. a headpiece, the Anna, the one you chose for your wedding day. Aww. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 
makes me put it back on. Yeah. So pretty. And looks great. Beautiful. You're gonna look so it's perfect beautiful, in the Gabby. I can't hair. wait to have everybody yeah. see what you look like. Fabulous. You know, we want to thank Gabby, yes. Kristen, Banta, Amanda, Judd for more chic wedding accessories. You can be be sure to take a look at Amanda's site, which is Amanda Judd New York or Amanda Judd NY. I was going to New York, but it's NY.com. Okay. And we're, thank you so much. It thank was really Thank you. Guys, here, let's play some more. We'll be right back with one more song from the Lennon Sisters. Yeah.